Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to turn a plain Angular single page application that we have running here. We are going to transform it into a fully server side rendered application using the new Angular SSR package. So in order to do that, you need to make sure that you are on the correct branch. So here in your terminal, you need to do git checkout one dash start. This is the correct branch, all right? And here you should find an Angular application that is fully ready. This is just a plain Angular application without server-side rendering capabilities. And you can confirm that in the following way. We're going to switch here to another window and you're going to reload the application. And now the best way to confirm that this is indeed server-side rendered, it's not to inspect the HTML using the elements dev tools, because here you can see what is currently being rendered in the DOM, but it doesn't give you the information if it came from the server or if the rendering happened on the client. So the best way to confirm that an application is server side rendered is to use view page source. View page source, unlike here the elements tab, will give you here the initial HTML payload that we received from the server before the Angular application kicked in, took over the page and rendered new content. And we can see that this is essentially a completely empty HTML page. There are here some script tags, but you can see that there is virtually no HTML. So all of this HTML that we see here, such as for example, these cards here, these titles, this content here, the image, etc. All of this was rendered by the client side application. So the browser received from the server an empty page with some scripts. The scripts were started on the page. They contained Angular. Angular took over the page, made a request to the backend and rendered all this HTML that you can see here on the page. So this is a simple, traditional single page application. Now, to turn this into a server side rendered application, all you have to do is the following. You head over to the terminal and you stop your development server. Next, you run the command ng add at angular slash SSR. All right, I'm going to run this command and you should see here that a few files were changed. But with this and without uh, any unexpected difficulties, we have just now converted this application into a server-side rendered application. So here is what we're going to do in the next few lessons. In the next lesson, we're going to review the changes that the Angular CLI introduced so that we understand what is going on here in our project. After that, we are going to run the Angular application in server-side rendered mode in two different modes. We're going to run it in production mode and we're going to run it in development hot reload mode. All right, so without further ado, let's start understanding what were the changes made by the Angular CLI.